hi guys today i'm going to show you how to classify the covid samples from the lung ct images with the help of a convolutional neural network so i'll show you how to do first just create one folder and just rename it as database so inside that folder just create two more folder and rename it as COVID and non COVID and collect the COVID images and keep it inside the folder COVID and collect some non COVID images and keep it inside the folder. So now I'll write the program for classifying the COVID samples using CNN. Just to open the MATLAB. Once you open the MATLAB, you just put the initial commands, then just give the path of the database. So e COVID database, then split the training and testing data, then just show the training images, then construct the layers, image input layer, the size of the input, 350 and 550. Then construct some layers, convolution, cross normalization, max pooling, again convolution value. These are these are the network structure based upon the Alex net only. Finally, here you can give the fully connected layers too because we have only two classes. In classification layer, provide the training options. And then train the network by train network. Then split the testing data and reading the image and classify it. Finally, save all the outcome. Then plot the confusion metric. Then find the accuracy. Then by true positive, true negative, false positive, false negative with the help of that parameters, we can calculate the accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, precision. Then finally we can find out the ROC as well. So this is the total program. Now I'll just run the program. Just to open the program from the folder. And click the button, run button. Now the program is started to run. So these are the training samples which we have taken for training. Here you can see the COVID no, and non-COVID image as well. So now the training has been started. So we can see the loss values and accuracy. Now we are we have given the maximum iteration at 200. Now it's running. I think it will take little time. So just I am um, pausing that one. Pausing the video. Uh, during the time of training, we need to concentrate some important things. So most of you have doubt like how much effort we should give for training. So there is no special value for that maximum epoch or maximum iteration. We can train up to get the training accuracy is 100. So here uh, now we got the training accuracy of the epoch of 100. So anyway we are training up to maximum epoch 200 so make sure that the training accuracy should be 100 and we can go beyond 50 epoch more or 100 epoch more as well you have to uh, monitor the loss as well so loss should be lower nearly 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 like that so if you go for the 
Tamam nota you can see the accuracy mini patch accuracy and patch loss. So now the training is completed. Now it's started to test. So these are some images. So this is the COVID sample. COVID, 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 COVID. So these are the non-COVID images. So the system classified as COVID as L or non-COVID images. Finally, we are, we are getting the performance of the system. Also the condition metrics. Also the R, ROC region, ROC value. So this is I have done based upon AlexNet only. So why this image is coming means uh, we have split the training and testing, right? So here I have taken testing image separately and reading images one by one and classifying it and saving it a particular value all class. So that's why all images are coming from the test samples. So now we have we got the result based upon the AlexNet. Now one more uh, two more networks I'll show you. The same thing only. This is for residual network or ResNet 50. Just I'll display everything. Same procedure only. We just change only the network structure. Residual network 50 we used here. So here also we find the confusion matrix as well like your sensitivity, specificity, everything. Finally, we calculated the ROC. Then another network also, uh, also we designed VGG90. Same thing only we use the same data set. So this is the network structure. Also, we tested and trained with the same data, different data. What we uh, trained with AlexNet and uh, ResNet 50. Here also, finally, we calculated the all the parameters, accuracy, and accuracy and sensitivity and specificity. So these are the three networks which we used for uh, classifying the. COVID and non-COVID samples from the CT images. So most of the time we are getting good accuracy. So if we go for the residual networks providing better accuracy, uh, AlexNet also okay. But VGG is little complex, it's getting it's taking more time to train the data. So better you go you use like you can go for residual network or ResNet 50 or one or two. So it's giving a good result. So once I am scrolling and uh, so that you can type it and you can run it yourself. So this is for AlexNet. So I have commands, uh, commanded some layers because it, the training time has taken more. That's why. So just I am showing the full program. So if you interested means you can just type it and you can check it the result not only for the covid images you can use it for different application as well so this is the this net or crystal network so this one is the vgg19 network So I hope that you understand everything. So you can use it for your application for two class problem or multi class problem. Okay, if any doubt, you can contact me through email or WhatsApp. Thank you. Thanks for watching.